What's up and welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys for joining here with my buddy Dallas. You might know him from the video that went pretty viral. We were jumping off a Red Bull high dive platform. Crazy good time. He also helped film the video two weeks ago whenever we got crazy stuck at the hot spring. If you guys saw that, you know what I'm talking about. But we are out here in the snow now, trying to yeah. soak up that last little bit of snow before the season ends. This weekend is supposed to be 80 some degrees. So we're trying to get out here and utilize this with the Ambo and the snowboards and the dirt bike before it gets too slushy. We decided to drive way out here, find some deep snow and we're gonna try to build a jump to either jump over the ambulance grind the ambulance or anything that, that's our idea sounded good on paper we don't know if it'll work but that's what we're going we'll for see what happens. <laughs> it should be interesting either way we're definitely gonna have some fun today exactly let's keep on driving gotta find a good spot I'm trying to find somewhere with a hill next to it so we don't have to use the dirt bike to tow us in that here looks somewhat decent Ooh, actually yeah this big hill right there it's not a bad idea then we can literally just hike right up snowboard down across the ambulance with the snowboard successfully everything perfect um that's the plan <laughs> All right, let's go. Also, we aired down the tires. I don't know if you can see the little bulge. It gives so much more traction when you're out on the snow. Fronts are super low. We might have let out a little bit too much, but it's riding pretty damn good. But it's a good thing to know if you guys ever do off-roading type stuff. Airing down your tires helps so much with traction and snow and mud. That's why we aired them down a lot. We're going to scope everything out before we drive too much farther. figured on the way out to look for a spot, we might as well snowboard behind the Ambo. We just threw a toe strap on it, and Dallas is about to ride behind it. <laughs> Dude, this is working way too perfect, hell yeah. This is definitely something I never thought we would be doing. <laughs> I'm gonna try to go full 360 around the ambulance while I'm driving. Yeah, let's get it! Woo! Is he good? Is he good? Yeah, he did it! <laughs> yes! Hell yes! Success, boy! Okay. Try keep going right. Keep going right. Woo come on, come on, come on, baby. Come Straighten on, her out. Straight, come on. Straight, the 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 there you go. You just keep going. Don't worry about me. That worked. Oh, oh no, no, no. Good. I'm good. Ow! Holy shit! <laughs> Dallas just went flying off the front of the ambulance. Ow! Oh, dude, now it looks bad. videos ago, if you saw us get absolutely buried in the mud, we may have just one up that one. So we've been driving on that groomed trail. It looked like there was another groomed trail that cut off to the side and we took it, kept my speed. I thought that was all I needed to do. And we are so buried in snow right now. It is, it's bad. This, this is gonna be an interesting one. We have no cell service. We don't have anybody else. It's literally just the two of us. At least last time there was other vehicles. So we may be completely screwed right now. Let's get out, assess the situation and start digging. When the snow's hitting the front bumper, just ba try backing it out. You're down to the dirt on this left side. If we can get a little bit of grip, we might be able to just get back up on that road. I'm gonna try to go forward a little bit. Yeah, nudge your forward. Nice, nice, nice. Yep, yep, yep. There we go! Ah! I thought we were 
actually gonna get out of that pretty easy. So let's keep trying this. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Little forward. <laughs> Dude, I don't know. You might just be making it worse, bro. You try to go back one more time. I going backwards? Both of them on this side. Are they for real? And they're not even on any dirt anymore, dude. Like before, dude, you were actually fucking. You were gripping dirt a second ago. Now it's just pure snow. Damn it. So we caught a little bit of dirt here, and then you floored it forward, oh. and now we're on pure snow. That looks a little worse. Oh goddamn it. You don't have any cell service? Uh, I checked while we were sitting up there. I didn't have anything. Yeah, I don't have any either. Um, let's just try digging a little bit. Once this shit's gone, yeah. this will be easier to dig than the mud was. Normally that's a two foot step to get up yeah. in. Now I can just bloop. Look at that, I just did it on purpose. All right, just gonna let a little bit more air out, get a little bit more traction, and that may help us once we dig a little bit. Well, I guess we just need to get all of it out from underneath. This one's not even spinning. All right, we've been digging for a while. The wheels are still just spinning. Like too much of the ambulance frame and axles is resting on the snow. And it's just, I don't know. We've been digging for a while. We only have one shovel at this point. We might just have to try to walk, go find some cell service, see if we can get a hold of anybody. Dallas, trying to go walk and get some cell service. Or maybe we'll take the dirt bike. Forgot to have the dirt bike, but I don't even know if it's gonna ride in this stuff. It's might be a waste of time. We're gonna make this work. We're gonna we're gonna get out of here. I've only made a handful of ambulance videos and in two of them I've already gotten absolutely stuck. Off to a good start. I'm about to take the dirt bike, just fishtail my way to until I can find cell service, try to make a call. I'm exhausted. We're definitely staying the night here for sure. There's no way anyone's coming out today. All right, I'll try to go get some service and uh, I'll be back here in an unknown amount of time. We'll see, I'll be waiting here, brother. One eternity later. Please tell me you got some good news. Were you able to get a hold of anyone? I got some weird news. First tow truck company, they were like, as soon as I told them where I was at, they were, they were just, there's no way they would come out this far. Remember I said I met Diesel Dave and yeah. uh, from the Diesel Brothers? I met him and his crew and exchanged information with them. So I really didn't want to utilize that because I feel bad. I just talked to him and then now I call them like a week later for help. But uh, I made a call to Diesel Dave. No and way. Dude, he answered. He said he can't do it today, but he said they will be out tomorrow. No freaking and, way, uh, dude. Are you serious? Send him like a pin of the general area. So he said, he's like, don't worry, we'll find you tomorrow. And no way, I dude. I think we're good, dude. I think they're gonna come out. Diesel Brothers are gonna come save us. <laughs> dude! Yes! Like, what are they That's so sick. That is insane. So. <laughs> now I'm glad we got stuff. Uh, it's actually I mean, kind of makes it worth it. This I is kind of cool. I feel so bad calling them because I just met them. And now it's like, hey, I know that I don't even know you, but can you come do us a huge favor and rescue us from the top of a mountain? Because I'm an idiot. I'll gladly give them some money for this. If they, if they can get this thing out, they deserve it. I mean, if anyone can get it out, it's them. Exactly. Let's cook some food, chill, relax, and uh, just kind of wait till tomorrow. All right. All right, Sounds good. Let's go make some food. All right, Dallas is about to chef up some quesadillas. So we're just gonna chill, hang out, pass out for the night, and tomorrow we should hopefully be rescued. All right, we're passing out for the night. It's been a long day of unexpected turns of events. Hopefully tomorrow, I don't know what time they're gonna be here, but Diesel Brothers, I'm hoping that I wake up to the sound of them pulling up and just hooking some chains to me or something to get me out of here. Cause I don't know what the heck they're gonna use to get me out. Cause dude, this thing's like 14,000 pounds. But yeah, they said they're coming, so see you guys tomorrow morning. Shoo. Good morning, second day out here in the mountains. Diesel Brothers should be here anytime. We're just gonna kind of chill out until they get here. We don't really have anything exciting to film in the meantime, so we'll just update you whenever they get here. Are we actually still stuck? It's kind of hoping that was a bad dream. We were hoping we we're gonna wake up and be like, wow, that was just a bad dream. We're, we're, we're back in Salt Lake we're City. Now nah, we're still here. Tell them about the people that helped us last night. Oh yeah. So after we were like laying in bed and uh, it was pretty, I don't even know what time it was, but we heard a group of people riding by. So we ran outside and we were like, wait, wait, wait. It was like a couple snowmobiles and one dude had like a razor with tracks on it for the snow. He was like, yo, you want me to try to help you guys out? And uh, I think it honestly just made it worse. Come look at the mess. Yeah, no, that didn't help. 
tracks yeah. everywhere. It was just spinning. It wasn't even doing anything. We were making more movement earlier when we were just driving it. But my hopes were at nighttime, if that guy was gonna be able to get us out, then I could at least go get service, tell the Diesel Brothers, like, yo, don't worry about it, because I, I do feel bad. Yeah, we still need them. I don't know who else could get us out at this point. I'll throw some drone shots in and uh, get a little view of the landscape right now. Hell yeah, dude. They're coming to save us with one of the craziest looking rigs I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Yo! Oh my god. <laughs> what? Yeah. What's up, man? I'm Brandon. I'm Dave. Nice to meet you. <laughs> hey, Dave. I feel horrible. I, I met this guy like last week for 20 minutes. I, I heard about the visit. I wasn't there and I missed out, but I guess I didn't miss out because here we are. This is the only way he makes his initial visits with people. Let's grab the J Bridal Hunter. We'll start. Giving her hell, see what happens. I'm just, thank, dude, thank you guys so much. Yeah. Seriously, thank you guys, everybody that's here. Love you guys. Hey guys, thank you for coming and saving us. Well, off the top of the ambulance. I guess we're not saved yet, but. I'm assuming this thing can do it. We'll get you there. Draglink is shaped like a U right now. U-shaped drag link. I don't think it's supposed to be that way. Nope, well, we're just going to have to keep on muscling it. Is that tire come off? Yeah, tire. Diesel uh, uh. Brothers came to save the day. Got the bro dozer out here on tracks. Look great. Wow. You see it's the huge bent bar on the left side? Yeah. That's real good. There's no fixing that. Well, we made a little bit of movement, but uh, still a ways to go. And some stuff's broken, bent on the ambulance, making this recovery a little challenging. a little bit of air in there, right? Then, you take your starter fluid, and do a nice ring around. You want to make sure it gets inside the actual wheel, otherwise it doesn't work as well. And then, all you need, oh. bam! <laughs> Dude! So, wow. just like that. Small tires like this are way easier. 
it's more flexible sidewall and a pinch. You guys need to be carrying this. Yeah, that was like just a couple sprays. I yeah. thought it was gonna be way more difficult. No, no, it's a thing. That's awesome. Science. <laughs> Science. Oh, here you go. Hey! Only a good place, so he's not gonna have steering for the moment. They got it! close to being out of here. The pavement is right there. You can see a truck driving on it over there. The Brodozer just ran out of fuel. I'm gonna try to make it out on my own. My transmission was overheating. I got, my, my parking brake light is on, my antibiotic brakes are on. So we got a lot of stuff to go over on this oh, one. I'm gonna see if I can creep out while they're here. I'm so thankful for them, dude. We would have been stuck there for so long. Oh, it's getting it up. Back up. I'm gonna bend that bar if I try. Uh, Unless it's rolling. Back up and straighten out. Uh, you're pretty buried back there. Actually, hey, this is Dave's time to shine. This is what he does. You know what I'm saying? Damn it, I didn't know there was some in there already. Genius! Really, really, I just took some Let's go! <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> there we go! Yeah, buddy! Yeah. We're here now. Through infinity. Yeah. Yeah. We're on pavement, driving under our own power. Let's go. That feels good. It does. This feels good. <laughs> Don't think that this feels right about this. Yes. <laughs> it's almost like I should have just stayed on the pavement the whole time. Except for the wiener staring me in the face. <laughs> <laughs> I actually can't see anything else with that hot dog. <laughs> <laughs>